Hello and welcome back to another character analysis video. Today we're talking about the real main character of Jujutsu Kaisen, Yuto Kotsu. Manga spoilers are ahead. So who is Yuto Kotsu exactly? Well, first of all, he's the protagonist of JJK Zero and he was the main character before Yuji Tadori himself. Some might argue that he's even the main character now. If you don't believe he's the main character now, then the only other character you can really argue for is Sukuna Gege's love child. Next, he's touted as the next Satoru Gojo. He said in-universe that if anything were to happen to Gojo, Yuta would be the one to take the reins and take control of the situation. Not that we've ever really seen him do this. He's the definition of a Gary Stu, and if you don't know what this means, that just means that he is basically the embodiment of perfection. He's a god amongst men. What do I mean by this? Well, if you've read or watched JJK Zero, you'd know that he is basically the biggest prodigy in the series, learning everything extremely fast, maybe outside of our ace attorney friend, Higuruma. He gets less sleep than a FNAF character. And this isn't even important to the conversation, but I don't know why he's drawn like this. And lastly, and very importantly, is he's actually in a romantic relationship with this thing. Very importantly. So, Yuta, based or cringe? That's, that's what we're trying to discuss here today. And of course, as always, we're going to start with the good. Well, he did beat up two primary antagonists, which is something that even Satoru Gojo wasn't able to accomplish. He killed Kenjaku most recently, as far as we know. He sliced his head off. And then he beat the shit out of Ghetto, although he didn't kill him. No other character in the series has had as big dubs as Yuta has. Next, he's also special grade. Now that title by itself is cool, there's only four of them. And every special grade person we know is fucking rad. He has reverse curse technique, he has domain expansion, and he has Rika outside of just having his regular curse technique. How, how many techniques does Itadori have? He has left, right, good night. He's canonically a womanizer. He's better than both you and I, at whatever it is he puts his mind to, including getting laid. And he's actually literally undefeated. I think he might be the only character who is undefeated in the show. Every single fight we've seen on screen, he has successfully conquered. Talk about fucking special grade. But, as we know, with based always comes cringe. So let's talk about Yuta. His voice acting is low-key annoying in the movie, and I don't have really much else to say about this, but I had to include it. I'm just going to leave this out in the open. I don't know that he can ever recover from this. The memes are too powerful. I don't know exactly what it is he was doing in Africa, other than looking for Miguel's rope, which should have taken like 30 seconds. Just go to Miguel's village, be like, dude, is the rope here? No? Okay, well, better haul ass back to Shibuya. But no, he was not here for season one or season two. Well, he's also canonically a womanizer, and while he did successfully bag Maki, which is one of the allegedly grippiest characters in JJK, this is his other love. Unfortunately, that also draws comparisons to Jeffrey Epstein. Next, he's a sneaky bush camper, and the memes go hard here. You know, this is also debatably based or cringe, but in a fucking battle shonen, Yuta is either so based or so cringe that he elects not to fight strong opponents, and camps them. I mean, I'm sure you guys have played video games and gotten killed by a camper. It's never a good feeling. I mean, if I was Kanjuku, I'd be pretty pissed. Next, he uses the power of love. This is a show about curses. I don't want to hear your holier-than-thou arguments, Yuta. If I can't find love, neither can you. So, in conclusion, is Yuta based or cringe? Well, first of all, he is the love child Gege wishes he had. That's what makes him the Gary Stew. It's him and Sukuna. They're battling it out. It's never been Yuji. It's never been Gojo. It's definitely never been Megumi. He's the only character that has ever only seen success. Think about that. In the world of JJK, the world of Nobara death, the wor world of Gojo surprise death, Yuta wins all his fucking fights, even though he fought a cockroach. Jujutsu is about being sneaky, so you can't even really fault him for being a sneaky bush camper. I will say though, the rest of his fights haven't been as difficult as some other opponents, so let's see how he fares against Sukuna. Unfortunately for him, the Africa memes and the sneak memes are just going to be a forever L stain on his resume, but that's okay because I think he's very comfortable in his body. It is funny to call him a fraud, so we can call him a fraud, but he's objectively not a fraud and objectively not Gojo. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Leave in the comments down below what you think of Yuta and whether you're part of his PR team. Also leave in the comments down below any other ideas for more PowerPoint presentations. I'll see you guys next time.